All right, I've promised it for a long time. It's finally here, so some of you can stop commenting. But I feel like after playing Crash 4, Crash 1, 2, and 3 is going to be a walk in the park. He's like, finally, Crash Bandicoot going to the eye doctor sometimes be like, you ever go to the eye doctor and they give you the, the drops that dilate your pupils and then you can't see afterwards? Run, Crash, run! Out the window! Here we are, back at the roots. It's so weird going back because the original Crash games are so much more zoomed in. And also, after being so used to the... Oh, we can't double jump, that's right. And after being so used to the Crash 4 design, it, just, it feels kind of weird. But this is it, this is the roots. We don't have any shadows or circles to guide us. We don't have double jumps. We don't have modern mode. Just me, Crash Bandicoot, and a broken controller. Just like the good old days. All right, super crash. Kill all the turtles. Just kidding, don't kill turtles. Turtles are, are very kind and uh, gentle, except for the snapping turtles that bite fingers off. I'm just gonna try to get all the boxes for as long as I can because I underestimated that jump. Typical chalk fashion, die twice on the first level. That's, a, oh, hang on. See, that's what got me. I jumped here and I was like, no, that's where you gotta jump. Whoops, just warming up, that's it. Just warming up. You know what? Forget it. That was my chance to get all the boxes, and yeah, I don't care anymore. I'm telling you, that's it. That's the last time we're gonna die. Not gonna die a single more time. In fact, I feel bad for the developers for making the game so easy. Go ahead. Do it, you bootleg-ass piranha plant. Come on. Stupid. This is the crash that I grew up with. No fancy mechanics. You run, you spin. You don't get fancy. Oh, you die. You pass the controller to a homie. Look, this is a breeze. Told you, no more deaths. Beam me up, Neo Cortex. Press X to bounce higher. Like, I didn't already know that. It's funny how they just assume that I'm not a professional Crash Bandicoot player. I'm trying to remember where I was in life. How old was I when this game came out? Oh, that almost crushed me. What was it, 96? Crash 1 came out? Or was it 97? I remember because whatever year it was, I didn't have a PlayStation. I had a friend who lived, well, he didn't live a couple doors down. His grandma lived a couple doors down and he had a PlayStation. So he would come over on the weekends and whenever he would come over, he had Crash. So either we would play that or we'd play Parappa the Rapper. It was 96. So I was eight years old. I was eight or nine, which means I'm an old man. Oh God, where are you trying to put that thing? All right, there's the coin. We go to the boner, I mean bonus stage. Don't lie, you've thought about it. Oh, wow, okay. All right, that that was sabotage. They are trying to get me to die when they said I wasn't going to. Thank you. Is that another stage down without deaths? And only nine boxes. He's like, nine boxes, I eat that for breakfast. This one's just called boulders. I wonder what this stage is about. All right, here we go. We gotta run towards the screen now, which this, this was super disorienting when I was younger because I've said this before, I got bad depth perception. So like knowing when to jump is sometimes a challenge. I mean, but I'm a gamer though, so I power through. I feel like Crash 4 really prepared me. Either that or just years of playing platformers. Not to mention I've already beaten these games. Chomp, 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 chomp. Get those wumpa fruits. I missed a box. Get me out of here. Crash, run! Oh God, it's gaining on me. It's gaining on me. Gravity, gravity. Oh, we got the gem. We out of here. Huh, perfect. Just like me. Just nice and easy. You see, you, you think I don't remember that the, uh, the lily pads, that they go bye-bye. You think I don't remember. But I remember about the lily pads. What's up with the piranhas? You're just like, blah, 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 blah. my God, I have so many lives. Not that I'm gonna need them because I'm a Crash Bandicoot master. Got an unpopular opinion, but uh, Crash Bandicoot 3 is not that great. I love one and two, and three is just like, eh. That's where the series really starts to go downhill. But a lot of people love three. They got fond memories for it. I don't know. When, once you threw the motorcycle in and all that stuff, I was like, I think this is my last Crash game. Then Crash 4 came out. No more deaths, no more deaths, no more heroes. Never played those games either. That's it, only three? Oh, it's our first boss fight. Let's go. Hey, uh, uh, buddy, wake up, wake up. We gotta fight. I'm just here, standing in your house. Whoa, whoa, chill. Go jump on his head, how do I beat him again? Yeah, that's it. Hey, where's your bathroom? You got a bathroom for a kitchen? Pretty terrible apartment. I wasn't even over there. He's like, this is where I'm going to swing my staff. 
He crushed my skull. Yep, wrong way, pal. You got plumber's crack. Pick up your skirt. I feel like that was a little unnecessary. Whoop! Oh, almost died there. Oh, God! Aku Aku, you will be remembered for your bravery. I want that. I want that. Okay, I'm out of here. I die in the easy spots, and then I get to the things that are a little more challenging, and, and I don't. It's ass backwards for me. Whoop! Oh, God! Just squeaking through. No, I didn't want that coin. That's the crypto that they're trying to use to scam you. Okay, that's a lot of boxes. Okay, he's already dead. Okay, you can stop now. Crash. What was with the eyebrow raise before you jumped on the hog? He's like, hey, hey, watch this. We're gonna ride this hog. Hey, Peter, I'm gonna eat that pig. Who's there? Yeah, I'll, I'll ride this hog right into the barbecue. Oh! Every time. Okay. You gotta juke him. You gotta juke him. Juke. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I didn't see that one. No! Oh, he launched me into the pit! What? How? You didn't think you would see it. You never thought you'd see the day. But old Chalk is gonna make it past Hog Wild. I don't care if it takes 20 tries. The game is still infinitely easier than Crash 4. I feel like Crash 4's difficulty just gets ridiculous at a point. With the developers are like, let's see uh, how many controllers we can break. Yo, what's this one monkey doing? Just chilling and rolling back and forth. Not gonna forget that. Not, not like I even need the bonus stage at this point. Man, Crash is uh, ruthless. I'm gonna kill all the wildlife. It's like, screw the planet. Oh, I thought it was done. Isn't there like a Crash Bash? That's supposed to be like a Mario Party style game. Is that is that a thing or am I making that up? There was also a Sonic one on the Dreamcast. I don't remember what it was called, though, but it was a Sonic-style Mario Party game. Damn it. Did I say no more deaths? What I meant was uh, no game overs. This is the no game over run. I know some of you are waiting. You're like, Chuck, you're going to get to the hard levels. Just watch. But you're wrong. You don't know who you're dealing with. Let me slay the monkey. Woo! Oh, the game wanted to give me that one. The Crash Gods have graced me. Whoa, oh, oh, damn. I wonder what Roasted Bandicoot would taste like. I would assume similar to Kangaroo, which I've never actually had. Because I don't think I have it in me to eat a kangaroo. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's a lie. If the kangaroo is, like, kind of a dick, I could probably do it. Whoa! No! Oh, no. They gave me Aku Aku because they're like, he sucks. I can't believe they did it to me. They're like, yeah, he's trash. Give him the mask. Look, and they give me four one-ups. A real blow to my pride. I can already feel how mean the comment section is going to be. No one's ever died ever playing video games. Cool, fun. Oh, hello. I'll, I'll gladly take another one. No qualms about free one-ups. Yep, it's okay. It's okay, I could take it. Oh, my salad's trying to eat me. See? Salad's a scam. I told you. It's actually my favorite to go in the comments after... Play where, where do I have to go? Where are we going? Where are we... Oh, no! It's my favorite to go in the comment section and find the people who are perfect gamer gods that can watch somebody not only have to play for an audience, but commentate and break concentration and get eaten. Crash is a very delicate boy. Like, he gets touched once. He's like, I quit. Take my life. He would never survive in Smash. What was I even thinking? He would get jabbed once by Mario and be like, that's it, I'm dead. I mean, can you imagine dying in one hit? I mean, I guess you could if you main Pichu. Oh, I, you know what, forget it. Who cares? Ripper Roo, probably one of the more iconic boss fights in Crash 1, or in, I guess in the entire Crash trilogy. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to go diagonal. The big TNT. It's like that Mario Party minigame where you have to guess which uh, platform the other person is going to jump to, and you just bonk heads. There we go. Just send it downstream. That's one. Ah! I said iconic. What I really meant was annoying. Just stay away from me. You you hop on over there. Crap. Just drop the SpongeBob time card. One hour later. You see, he's gone insane from just watching people die over and over again until they figure the pattern out. I lost so many brain cells just now. Hey, still didn't get a game over, though. Oh, that's right, the bat's here. Feeling like Bruce Wayne after his parents die. Leaping lizards! Can I not kill you? No! So aside from playing this game when I was a child, 
the last time that I played Insane Trilogy, or I guess the first three Crash games, because they weren't known as the Insane Trilogy when they came out. It's just the remakes. But I, when did this game come out? 2016? I remember when they were rumored, and I was like, oh, I really hope that's true. Crash was a huge part of my childhood. Then it happened, and Crash had one of the greatest comebacks in gaming history. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, whoa, easy. Easy. Oops. Oh, just had to kill him. Okay, that works. All right, what's the pattern here? Oh, I could probably just go. Nice and easy. I've earned that one up. Don't tell me I didn't. So, Crash 5 win. I'm ready for more. Are there plans? Because they had that rumored five... They had that rumored five-year crash plan, and I wonder if, like, they had anything planned after that. They are like, all right, we made our money. Time to go. And they just dipped. I I'm going to die because I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I couldn't count my jumps. And I lost all my fruits. You know what the crazy part was? Think back to, like, the PlayStation 1. You didn't have a, an analog stick. You had to do this all with a D-pad. See, I'm going for all of them because I'm greedy. Let's just get some and dip, because I'm, I'm pushing dangerously close to a game over. But I want to see if I can do it without getting him. He's fine. Don't worry about it. Now the stages really start to test your patience. See? I didn't see the spear. It's too dark in this place. Need more torches. So you got to look for the shadow. In Crash 4, they're like, they're not going to be able to do it. Give him the circle. So here you want to run, spin, and then jump right into the flame. So you realize when you go back to the very far away checkpoint that you don't do that ever again. Where's the bats? Oh, whoa, whoa! Depth perception, I'm telling you. See, the trick here is total concentration. So you know exactly which curse word you're going to say when you die. No, you missed 15 boxes. The road to nowhere. All right, here we go. I don't know if you stand still or if I have to like jump. Nope, okay, that didn't work. Man, whoever built this bridge, uh, they suck. Some of you don't think that I know about the rope cheat, but I know. You can just do this. It's like taking the whistle in Super Mario Bros. 3. This is incredibly dangerous, Crash. Incredibly. Keep doing it. Actually, I think it's probably a, a more of a gamer move to make the precise jump onto the rope. Crash should join the circus. Be a really good tightrope act. See, look, I can do both. I'm the greatest Crash player to ever grace the Earth. I'll show you. I don't need to use the rope. You need to use the rope. I'm going to bonus land. Hey, wait a second. This isn't bonus land. Okay, now, if I remember correctly, we used the turtle here. Kind of messed up, but you got to do what you got to do sometimes. That turtle's already dead. Fine. Easy. See? That's what it's all about. Not even toys for Bob could take me down. Now, this, this boulder, this is rigged to fall. You're just waiting for me. Or you think someone pushes it? You think there's someone working up there? It's like a 24-hour, around-the-clock kind of thing. They're like, oh, someone's coming. Push the boulder. They get one person, like, every, I don't know, 20 years. When do I get the slide mechanic? Or is that in Crash 2? Run! Run! Oh, God. I, I was sure that I was going to live. Whenever I play these stages, my thumb always feels like it's going to slip off of the analog stick. There we go. I almost ran in and spun into the TNT. That's a good way to get me to say curse words. Look at Crash's face as he's running. Just pure horror. Just out here fighting for his life. Didn't ask for any of this. Just woke up in a lab one day. You see, I think they actually, uh, they greased the slope so it slides faster. Here we go. Woo! I don't even care about the boxes. Let my man Crash rest. Sunset Vista, that actually sounds kind of nice. Crash is running around. He's like, hey, where's that cabana that I rented? We got it for the whole day. You know, I low-key would love a Crash Bandicoot themed theme park. I think that could be really cool. Nowhere near enough money to do it. Or maybe there is. Maybe there, there is enough money, but it would never happen. This game is just like packed with extra lives. I haven't played the actual originals in a second, but were they also like that? Another one of these. This old chestnut, been there, done that, died there. Shout out to Crash for putting the actual animal bandicoots on the map. Did anyone know what the hell a bandicoot was before Crash? Doubt it. Isn't that crazy though that like Crash Bandicoot made the animal famous that has existed for centuries? Nothing is worse than like climbing all the way up a series of platforming challenges like this, only to fall all the way back down and have to do it again. Yo, that bat is such a narc. He's just chilling there. He's like, hey, hey, 
Hey, all my bat friends are coming, by the way. This is where they hang out. It's like he's letting you know where the red light cameras are. Do you think, like, Crash breaking boxes is the equivalent to, like, Link smashing clay pots when he goes in buildings? Like, Crash can't help himself. He's like, must smash box. What crap, there's so many lives in this game. I don't need them. I mean, maybe a few. Maybe only a couple. They really just straight up called him Koala Kong. Uh, he skips leg day, by the way. That's the big one. Do your worst. Do I... Yep. Hey, he was throwing him first. I was just minding my own business. Came down to take a tour of the mine. Idiot. You think Koala Kong is juicing? He's juicing. He's gotta be. Make sure not to, you know... There we go. Take a nap. We went from a nice tropical Aztec temple to... New Jersey. That's a robot chuckle. Tell me I'm wrong. You look at Crash just vibing. He's got every right though. This uh, this entire soundtrack slaps. Robo Shuckle, I don't want to hurt you. But you're in my way. I'm sorry I have to. I'm a little meticulous, but I'm getting all of them. Treat yourself sometimes. Don't burn yourself. I recently burned myself in my barbecue. I'm still healing. Still got battle scars from the hamburger that I made. Ooh. Okay. All right. Easy. Easy. I, I can't even be challenged. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Cortex power. So does he just run the power plant? Ooh, I'm getting a... Uh, I'm getting Cortex castle vibes. So wait, what's the difference between going this way and going this way? I feel like this is the hard path. And I'm not going to turn that down. Look at this guy. Ah, he shot me! These are very, very hazardous work environments. I'm calling the Union. Oh, okay, and then Crash uh, came out as one of the X-Men. Again, can we really do it, though? Can we really just beat the whole game without getting a single game over? The dream? Once you get your rhythm, there's no stopping you. Become second nature. You do this with my eyes closed. Great, but you're a disappointment to your family. Look at Cortex's ugly mug. He's got some ego. Just playing gifts of himself all over the place. It's pronounced GIF, by the way. If you say GIF, you've likely committed war crimes. No! Use your hands, Crash! Grab the ledge! I mean, he would be a terrible character in Smash. My tune is completely changed. He'd be the only character that couldn't grab the ledge. Uh, you know what? No, never mind. Forget that one. It's like Christmas Day. Just greeted with more and more one-ups. Yeah, uh, that guy looks like he could be trusted. Wait. Are really the three boxes that I missed the ones that I just willingly passed up? This guy's definitely in the mob. I know we're like stereotyping him, but look how he's dressed. They all shop in the same store. Throw it. Knock off Donkey Kong. Oh, a bouncy one. Throw me off. You know the employees of this place are retiring with some health issues. And Cortex being the scum that he is is like, uh, nope, sorry, no pension. You're on your own. Jeez, how many floors is this thing? Oh! I think we have a real shot here at getting all the boxes. Especially since it's like, it's been a second. Oh, run! Oh! We got a wall! We did it! Nearly perfect, but you die. Come on! All right, now we have to fight a gangster. I've been watching a lot of Sopranos, so he's probably gonna try and break my kneecaps. I believe you, but my Tommy gun don't! How is that fair? He has an actual gun! That, okay, didn't work. I'm just gonna stay over here until he runs out of ammo. Right? That's what we do? You gotta get him on the reload? Okay, wait wait for the reload. Just like, take cover. Pinstripe, he probably sounds like a typical gangster too. He's like, hey, you guys over there. He's like, come get a sandwich from Satriales. What do you want, Gabagol? How many bullets does this clip have anyway? Get him! I ain't paying you your money. Now go home. The high road. This is the one they warn you about. Now we've already done one of these. And I got, uh, I got plenty of lives, so off to a good start. Even better. <laughs> Chuck, what are you doing, man? Get it together. Get it together. The people are relying on you. Checkpoints are my friend here. You know what's not your friend? These turtles. But you gotta, you gotta get them, like, right at the edge. That's not... I wasn't making it there. All right, those 15 lives, they're gonna go really quick right now. I've been saving them all for this stage specifically. Okay, gotta get them, like, at the very end. Here we go. Checkpoint! All right, cool. We're in business. <laughs> High Road is the original Cortex's castle. 
Like, I know this game is hard, but I just feel like Crash 4 is so much harder. Like, I, I know I'm dying a lot, but it just, it doesn't pale in comparison. Crash 4 made me change modes. And this is a remake, like on the OG PlayStation 1, this stage could probably drive you to drink. But I'm saying it right here, right now, if we can get past this stage without getting a game over, we're not getting one. Do the rope thing. Um, no rope thing. Why do the laws of gravity not apply to these hogs? You thought Goku going down Snake Way was tough? Try Crash on the high road. Sorry, but uh, these deaths mean nothing to me. Crash 4 calloused my heart. I don't even feel anymore. I mean, think about it. If Goku had to make it past this, he was never making it back in time for the arrival of the Saiyans. Oh, okay, it's right there. That's the end. Told you, no game over here. It's not happening. It could still happen. I swear to God, if I made it all this way to lose all my lives right here, I'm going to smash my PlayStation 5 with a hammer. Oh, I was, <laughs> I was getting nervous for a minute. Yeah, I feel that, Crash. I feel it. Okay, now I'm starting to get worried because we got four lives. I've been talking a whole lot of smack. I just need like a couple of bad luck jumps and it's game oversville. Hey, look at this creep. Get the hand out of here, you weirdo. Oh no. Uh-oh. Game's starting to get to me. It's starting to get in my head. Where's, where's all those one-up boxes now? Where are they? Now we want to be cheap with them? Jumping on the birds. This is very, uh, this is very Donkey Kong country. Ah! Okay, um, I was wrong. I'm gonna admit that now. There we go. Okay, we're alive. We're still alive. We're hanging in there. They ain't handing us the game over slip yet. We got this. We got this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, double time, no problem. We got this. Easy, easy. You see, when I get backed into a corner, that's when I really shine. I'm just constantly evolving. Okay, we're still good. That looks like the dude from, uh, you know, Phineas and Ferb. No! Oh no. Oh God, we got one left. Yeah, I kind of just want to get the game over over with, so I feel nothing. Okay, come on, bring me over to the bird. Bring me to the bird, man. Just gotta make it through. <gasps> oh, one up. Wait, all that to jump into a spike? Oh my, I made it so far. Game over. Sad. You hate to see it. If you wait long enough, this tiki mask will haunt your dreams. <laughs> Very sparse and stingy with the checkpoints. As you get further into the stage. Okay, nope, almost. Not a single checkpoint. I'm going to the bonus stage. I'm gonna die here. No, no. Okay, fine, whatever. What oh. One eternity later. Let's go! Give me all them lives! I don't even care if I got all the boxes. And th this is a... <laughs> That's a great place to die. It's a great place to immediately die. Because we just got the checkpoint. We're chock full of lives right now. I actually, I forgot how hard this game was. Like, legit. Or how dumb I am. See, my mistake was I went for the one-up and I hesitated. Never hesitate. Here we go. We out of here. Don't even think about it. Listen, those are toxic chemicals. The only thing more toxic than those biles are the League of Legends community. Wait, that's it? Only 10? Oh, Aku Aku, he's glowing. Okay, thank you for warning me. Here's the thing about Metroid Dread. I'm excited for it, um, but this is going to be legitimately my first Metroid game. I mean, I kind of played some Super Metroid, but not enough to really say that I've played Metroid or anyone who plays Metroid would say, hey, you've played Metroid before. I like that it comes out in October, so I can finally call it Choctober and play something spooky. I didn't know that uh, Aku Aku had these radioactive properties. I gotta act fast though, because he doesn't stay lit for very long. You gotta freshen him up every now and then and change the light bulb. See, there's like a rhythm here. Well, I just gotta not stop ever. Okay, we're, we're doing it, we're doing the thing. I missed that one up, didn't I? This place is infested with rats. Disgusting. Okay. I don't want to get guillotines. It's probably on my list of, like, top five things to not do in life. Get guillotines. 
You know, I like my head right where it is. I would like to just keep it there. It was like the second stage of Turtles in Time. Right? The second stage of that sewer surfing? In the dark, in the dark, in the dark. Let's go! Let's go! I'm too good. I can't be stopped. I'm a god. Cuckoo is here. I feel safe. It's like carrying a weapon around. You know I keep that thing on me. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. We, we keep going. We keep going. We, we stay moving. Life goes on. So, like, I'm struggling, but I got my gamer card because I beat Cuphead with only the pea shooter. I feel like that's a respectable enough achievement. You thought I was just going to jump into the spears, did you? Well, you would have been right, but my finger slipped off the thumbstick. Okay, I can't. I got to get through both of them. Ah, oh, should have waited. I'm running out of lives here. More importantly, I'm running out of patience. Crash, funny enough, is about to be a patient at the hospital. What do you think his hospital bills look like? There we go. The checkpoint's right there. And I know as soon as I jump, I'm going to get squashed like a bug. Woo! Just hit the box. Thank you. I don't feel as bad since we got, a, we got a checkpoint box now. Like, we're in the money. I'm golden. Great. More of these. Very, very slim window here. Okay. I, I see. I understand. I have downloaded the puzzle. And I can now move on. That's definitely enough. We passed the funny number. You can stop now. How many boxes are in this level? Castle machinery. We're starting to climb the tower now. I gotta, like, go around, but I don't remember how to do that. It's jumping and falling, right? Yes, it is. That's that's quite a fall. And my legs still work. Ah, robot shuckles here. Woo, okay. Almost had fried bandicoot for a second. Yeah, I'll probably beat the stage without dying. That's how good I am at this game. I don't even need a kuku there, so I was just like, let me ditch him. You didn't see that. What does a wumpa fruit taste like? I imagine it tastes kind of like a mango. It's got mango vibes going on. Are you think I'm not going to go for these? What are you, nuts? I'm still going to go for them. Whatever. Big jump. Come on, Crash. We can do this. We're almost at the top of the, the castle. Okay, I got to focus now. This is where... Uh, why Why don't I just take the hit and jump on? I have no lives now. All right, a sacrifice is going to be made here. Oh, wait. That wasn't ice. God, I'm stupid. I'm so dumb. I thought it was ice. What are you mixing there, Mr. Brio? Mr. Embryo, what are you mixing? Okay, um, boogers, Slimer. That wasn't right. He didn't really try to throw that thing. He was just like, eh, softballed it. There, oh, gross. <laughs> That's disgusting. There used to be this, uh, I think it was creepy crawlers that allowed you to make, like, squirting bugs. I reference creepy crawlers once every six months, so just deal with it. Don't you have one of those sinks that, like, you wash your eye out as an emergency? Where, where's it going? How many are you throwing? Oh, no! Oh, I thought he was going to stop. He's going to throw five. He thinks I can't dodge. I got these fancy feet. Yeah, do it. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, don't do that. Uh, you good, homie? Thor, hungry! Thor, go on, eat! I jump on his head? I jump on his head. Yeah, there we go. This is what Ganondorf players look like when they're holding the controller. Wow, someone doesn't do legs at the gym. Donkey Kong's down B. Be like. Okay, one more time for the homies back at home. There we go. No, you, you, got, you don't got wings, pal. And then the final ascent to the lab. The stage before this was also a lab, but this is like more of a lab. This is the good lab. So, like, when experiments are getting done, they're like, nah, let's go to the good lab. Oh, that, okay, that's not cool. Why would you do that? Yikes. Oh, we see what color Crash's underwear is now. We know he's wearing boxers. All right, this guy, he, he's got to be into some kinky stuff. Why can't I jump and hit him? Get, get, okay. Wait, no, he's not dead yet. Oh, we just can't kill him. Please die. If you think you're going to... Scum me out of that checkpoint. You are s We out here killing scientists. It's what we do best. We gotta be close to the end, right? Where is it? Should be right behind... Oh, no. Okay, I remember this right here. The door really just closed on me. I'm going. We just... We gotta do it. We just got Leroy Jenkins it. All right, this is it. This is the end. See? Just had a not bounce, and we out of here. All right, the Great Hall... Just call me the hall monitor. Throwing a, a hidden gem. All I did was step on the platform. I don't have the gems, though, so I can't do it. That's it. That's the whole stage. I did it without dying. You proud of me? Now, <laughs> and now for the final boss. All right, so I think this is probably one of the easier final boss fights in the Crash series. 
You know, you dodge these, you gotta hit back the green one. It's kind of like a weird angle, too. Like, Crash is- he's a very large character on the screen. Yeah, it's jammed. Get- oh, I missed. I hit, how about that one? Hold this one. He's gonna- oh, it got vaporized. You know this game was made in the 90s, because that is a typical ray gun. Looks like every fictional ray gun ever. I hit that! He don't even care. His castle is on fire. I don't know, man. If my whole ass castle, my lair was on fire, I wouldn't be trying to shoot somebody. Just like Balan in, uh, Sonic Smackdown. It's got the magic gems that bounce off each other. Here we go. Just gotta build up that big blazer. Here we go. 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 Oh, not looking too good there, Neocortex. You're- you're looking- looking kind of sad. Looking- looking like you just got washed by Mr. Bandicoot as he falls to his death and Crash gets the girl. And that's Crash 1. We're moving on to Crash 2. Who's piloting the blimp? It's funny how Crash 2 just starts right where Crash 1 left off. Games, like, they didn't used to do things like that. But it's the same cutscene. You know, Cortex falls, somehow survives. This is actually a net win for him. He gets his ass beat by Crash, but he comes out on top because he got these crystals now. Hey, Crash, Crash, get up, dude. Where do you charge that thing? It's just an island. So, Crash 2, we all know, is the best crash because you can do this. You can seductively crawl towards your opponents. Look at that. Crash is all double-cheeked up. Oh my god, kill the animals. The pretend animals, not the real ones. We love animals in this house. I'm telling you right now, we're gonna get every single box and 100% this level. And after that, we will likely never do it again. Whoa, 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 where are we going? Also, this game just has a way better hub world. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I'd rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. Neocortex has got to get I some sleep. His eyes are so Crowning damn bloodshot. Yeah, so obviously, uh, Crash 2 is way better. It's got the better hub world. You're looking for those crystals. Just struggling to jump on a box here. Don't mind me. It's basic, everyday Choctopus things. Oh, gross. Mud. This is what New York City was like the other day. Coming straight from Crash 1 into Crash 2, I have my guard up because, you know, I just played some of the, the harder stages. And I'm going, like, to the easier ones. I should have taken, like, a break. Wait a second. How do we miss that many boxes? Ah, it's fine. We got the gem. It's whatever. Where was that crystal? Where were you, where were you storing that? Well done. Hey, why does this crystal smell? The beautiful thing about this, though, is I can't be punished for missing boxes. They can't hurt you anymore. But now we have nitro boxes, so, you know, insta-kills. Look at the cute little seals. Okay, watch out for the- Oh, nitro! Nope, nope. Okay, so, I was not even touching that. They want me to go down, so you know what? I'm gonna just drop right into the bonus level. Whoops. Also, going from Crash 1 to Crash 2 is forgetting that you have more mechanics now. You can do, like, the, the slide spin. And also, you can jump out of the slide, so it's kind of like you got a little more leeway, because I can do, like, this, and you'll never miss a jump ever again. And also, when you do the slide jump, you got this cool, like, split he does in the air. Crash, this ain't his first rodeo, and he wants you to know. Hang 8. It's like Hang 10, but Crash doesn't have that many fingers. Okay, hang on, hang on. I almost hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. I don't even need it. I'm just gonna use- Oh, I slid right into the water. Here we go. Get on the hoverboard. This seems incredibly dangerous. Why would I boost? I mean, I guess I'm probably gonna have to, to escape the whirlpools of death. I'm just gonna just squeak by and grab that. If we're being honest, I'm only going to boost when I'm feeling confident, which is 0% of the time. Poor hippos. They're just sitting here just being chubby and cute. And here I come jumping on their backs. I, who knows? Maybe they like it. Maybe they, they got a nice crack out of it. Why can't I make this jump? They're not squishy enough. I guess I just wasn't jumping far enough on the body of the hippo, which, uh, whatever, it's fine. Did it on the first try anyway. Oh, down the toilet. Watch this. I'm going to do a cool trick. Just like the first level in Sonic Adventure, which I will also play eventually. But you should totally go comment and tell me to play it because, you know, algorithm. Nah, Crash, don't look, uh, don't look too happy about that one. We struggled there. If I had to guess, Crash Dash is probably going to involve some dashing. Oh, we can slide now. We slide to a screeching halt. Oh! Okay, landmines, run! Woo! 
Ooh! Crash got the moves. Crash be nimble, crash be quick. Crash better not trip over a stick or he's gonna die. We're like in an Aztec jungle. Who put landmines here? Who was responsible for that? You see, you don't gotta worry about Nitro in the first one, but Crash uh, really outrunning the boulder. He got a lot faster in two. I mean, I honestly think one is harder. Whoop! Easy, easy, no death. Okay, maybe one death. Oh, okay, I guess I'm not getting that, but I want the boxes. If I can get them, I want them. No! I didn't jump. <laughs> I'll at least get... Come on, run, go! Oh, um, okay. I guess that wasn't worth it. All right, another gem. Put it in the wall. Then we'll go to the pits. I think there's something wrong with that turtle. He's been hanging out a little too close to uh, that refinery. That's kind of just dumping radioactive waste in the water. All these animals though. I don't know if they should be glowing. Can I jump on him? Oh, I can. As if he doesn't have enough problems. Now he has a 150 pound bandicoot jumping on his stomach. What do you think Crash weighs? Uh, the statistics are probably out there. Maybe, I don't think 150 pounds. Maybe more like 120. Hunumaga! Oh, okay, he's gone. This, wait, he's got buzz saws on his back. Is it me or is Crash 2 just infinitely easier than Crash 1? It's also my favorite of the trilogy. We could also probably do this one without getting a game over. This is just very violent whack-a-mole. Whack-a-mole, the game you love now with real moles. I'm really missing a lot of boxes. I thought I did better than that. Wow, Ripperoo has really gotten educated. He went out, got his master's degree. Oh no, he's gone insane. The student loans have become too much. He's gotten a lot easier. Woo, okay. You almost had me there. What are you dreaming of? That doesn't matter. So you're going to sleep permanently. Get in the forever box. Huh, <laughs> memory card. All right, take me up. Next set of levels. <laughs> bear it. He looks so sad. Bear it, because we're going to ride the bear here. See, the game's a little easier, so I can actually can bear it. Ah! Oh, almost had me. Oh, oh, God. Ooh, that's a tight jump right there. That is a tight jump. Oh, no. Oh, no. And in the water we go. I just gotta short hop it. I missed the box. That one hurt me. But sacrifices must be made. Oh, much closer this time. Oh no! Wait! And then I keep doing it. Why is this allowed? What? What? Um, hey, uh, hey pal, you got any more of those, uh, th those extra lives? Oh, Crash Crush. Of course we have to run opposite. Because it's another boulder level. So, and actually, I like the boulder levels. They're fun, even though it's basically more of the same still enjoy it wait hold up i gotta go back this might be where the crystal is actually oh i think my depth perception is failing me so in case you didn't know i have a depth perception problem i'm sliding i swear there we okay i got under that time but i didn't jump there we go that took me four tries it shouldn't have taken me four tries all that just to come back here oh oh no Good thing we got that checkpoint. Ah! So you think Crash is eating all the Wumpa Fruits? I feel like eating that many Wumpa Fruits would probably give him digestive problems. Like, Crash Bandicoot has to take Miralax. Oh! How did we come out of this on top? It must be because I'm so good at games. Hey, let's not leave it out the crystal because that would be horrible. Then I have to do this all again very painfully and make you watch. I like hitting the little Mario Kart boost things. Okay, so that is the only crate that I missed because I didn't belly flop it. And I'm just gonna have to live with it now. Let's get the water one out of the way right now. All right, this is a water level, I think. Oh, okay, I jumped as I saw it happening. The only cost was a Kuku. Huh, the Wumper Fruits are telling me to go left and I'm predictable. Can I destroy these? No. Well, yes, but I died. But it's more fun just to kind of like test my luck and slide through just once. Just one level, I want to be able to get all the boxes. So I don't feel like a complete failure. I feel like this might be my opportunity. Why is there lava down here in the sewers? And then, like, ice immediately afterwards? We did it! We got the gem! I always knew I could do it. Never lost faith in myself once. That's right, Crash, celebrate. This is your time. All right, now that I have gotten all of the boxes in a stage, I can just straight up ignore the rest. Here, watch this. I'm not even going to get these. Does that trigger you? Are you mad? All right, just need to make sure I don't get my bones crushed. Or, you know what? I should probably make it to the platform first. That was my punishment for intentionally skipping those boxes. I swear I jumped. I'm, I, can I, why is slide jump not slide jumping? Woo! 
Easy. Shouldn't have slid there. Oh, wait, we're alive. We're alive. We have lived to tell the tale. Not for long. Okay, make sure not to get impaled in the skull. Oh, oh God. Oh, that was so close. All right, we got the crystal. Now let's blow this pop stand. <laughs> pop stand, because... Why are you the way that you are? Went from ice to what seems like a tropical island. Thank you, climate change. I'm gonna go real slow. Enjoying myself. Enjoying the scenery and the ride. I mean, I could go fast, but this ain't no Sonic game. I could just enjoy... Okay, never mind. Low-key, I think we can get the gem here. And if I can, I will. That was the easiest bonus stage that I've been through yet. That has a skull and crossbones on it. So we're gonna see where it takes us. I ain't afraid of no skull and crossbones. Maybe I should be a little afraid. Because I have a feeling we're gonna need to do this if we wanna get the gem. Skull and crossbones. You should more like have a pacifier on it because it's for babies. There we go, nice and easy. Like a baby. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. We keep going, we keep going. Uh-oh, it's Hippoville. Easy. Oh, we're not done yet. Oh, just kidding, there's the gem. Wow, impressive, you kept two crystals in there. That seems kind of dangerous. You guys know there's other ways to entertain your time. You don't have to throw swords. Let's wait for him to stop spinning. I could spin too. Okay, that's one. He's like, hey bro, do me a favor. Can you be a Beyblade? Okay, do it again. You only got one bar of health left. You're done. You're open. We got him. Komodo bros, more like Komodo no bros. Next level. How many floors are there? We gotta be, all right, this way better set of stages, maybe. All right, enough. Oh God, that is a giant polar bear crash, buddy. This ain't no boulder. Those teeth, they'll peel your flesh from your bones. Oh, I missed the boost. That's right, we don't need no boost. It's the adrenaline that's got me going. Please eat the lizards, spare me. Go, 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 go. Oh, he's just, he's a giant puppy. Come on, Mr. Bear, you're not satisfied with the Wumpa Fruits? They're delicious and nutritious. Part of a complete breakfast. Another checkpoint. Ah, oh, you can't get me. Yeah, go to sleep. You're cute. All right, forget the boxes. Survival is the only option. Come on, Mr. Bear. I believe, I believe in us. I believe in a thing called love. Maybe I should try not jumping. Much easier to steer. Nah, it's not a steer, it's actually a bear. Oh, straight up, like, if I missed that one box, I probably would have kicked myself. I feel like we did this stage already. All these, uh, these stages kind of look the same. I thrive in harder levels, and then I get to stuff like this, and I struggle. The crowd goes wild as Chuck makes the easiest Whoop, whoop, oh no. Oh God, oh God, help, help me, help. I'm gonna, jeez, I'm gonna drown. Oh no. <laughs> Slow and steady, wins the race. Also dies. Wait, I only got three. Oh no. Okay, we need to maintain our game overless run here. I'm priding myself on being able to maybe do that. And in the dark, the light that was shining was the bonus stage. Oh yeah, more one ups. Num num num. Thank you very much. We take those. Woo! Blow all those up. I think we got the gem here. Yes, we did. That's what everyone loves. A nice sewer level, said not one person. I got a blowtorch, that ain't fair. What was that scream? That was horrifying. All right, we're down in like the sewer of the sewers. Because even the sewers have sewers down here. Very convenient of them to respawn here for me. So I can destroy the spinning blades. The spinning blades remind me of, oh, hang on, super crash. No time to talk, only time to run and kill. Do the spinning blades remind me of this one episode of Doug where he went to like the ice cream factory in like Bluffington or wherever it was. And then uh, they had a problem where, I don't know, ice cream was like heading towards a fan, a giant fan. And he's like, just let them hit the fan because it would have broken up like all the chips and the mint chocolate chip. Like that's the, I missed two boxes. Ah, like that was the only possible way they could have made mint chocolate chip ice cream. Good news. When you enter a bear stage and you don't have to run backwards, you're like, oh great, I don't have to fear for my life. I mean, you do, but like, at least not against a giant animal. Ooh, oh, don't know how that works, it's fine. Oh, that's right, this one they have like the guys holding the ice blocks. Lift! So you're doing it all wrong. You should be using 
your legs, not your back. You're gonna hurt yourself. Lift! Or not. All right, I think that's it. I think we're good. We can go back over here, right? It looks like we can probably do some platform. There's gotta be a secret. There's a secret over here somewhere. Did I just get a warp whistle? Did I do a secret and then immediately not do the secret? Oh, this is a cool level. These are some chubby mice. What are they eating? Okay, can't hurt you. You're a velociraptor. You on my way? That was a, that was a pretty early crystal. Is this a short stage? I feel bad for these rats. They're just chilling, but they serve a purpose, and that's to help me survive. Uh, I jumped on that dude like he just appeared out of nowhere. Oh, it's a monkey with a laser gun. We'll deal with him over here. Oh, it's Tiny Tiger. You could have just opened the door. Now you got to replace the whole thing. Okay, now what exactly do I have to... Oh, okay, there we go. Just hang out on the green one. That's fine. I like how the tactic here is he's really strong. He's got giant muscles, so uh, don't bother him. Just run away. There we go. Okay, good. Do the jump. Oh, wait, you weren't supposed to go diagonal? <laughs> oh, oh, hang on. No, no, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was close. This is it. That's the one. That's the one. Jump. We got him. All right. See you later. Now, Crash, he's right there, so... Oh, never mind. He's dead. Hmm, it's called hanging out because you're hanging on for dear life. We're doing pretty good, though. I, I think. Anything back here? They're hiding stuff from us. You thought I wasn't going to check. See, what I've learned from playing Donkey Kong Country games, like specifically from Donkey Kong Country games, is always go backwards. Get faster and faster. Oh, hang on. Wait. The crystal's right there. I would have missed that. So death was a blessing in disguise. I did that for like six Wumpa Fruits. Wait, is that guy supposed to be dressed like Mario? He kind of, you know, kind of maybe a little bit. Oh, that's right. This part of the stage, like uh, the grayish area, you can kind of just burrow. Please don't kill me, bees, because I don't want to use the Nicolas Cage clip again. I already use it too often. I'm more afraid of the bees than I am the Nitro Box, which says something about the bees. Unless they're like those murder hornets. That's totally Mario. Tell me that's not Mario. Oh, Crash is really allergic. Wait! No! No! He has a headstone! That's the first time that I've seen that death screen. I guess if you die underground, it's like, well, he's already under there. Man, this is a long level, or was a long level. Oh, another gem? For little old me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, relax there, Donkey Kong. Oh, I overjumped. You sons of... You hid the, the nitro box. Okay, um, unless that's coming back. You coming back? You, uh, you are coming back. You never forgot me, Steve from Blue's Clues. You can tell I'm concentrating because I'm not talking. Because if I can get more gems, I'm going to get more gems. This one pillar's drunk. There's the crystal. I see it. I want it. Just a taste, Mr. White. Aku Aku just waiting for me. Real homie. Okay, fine. He's gone. Sorry, Mr. Gorilla. I got a plane to catch or whatever. This just seems like a logistical nightmare. But whatever. We'll get him. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> he wants to be just like me. Then be like me and die. Just want to make sure I'm getting everything in here. They're going to hide it from me, and then I'm going to walk away with, like, minus one box. Oh, here's the crystal. I was wondering if I got it as I belly flop onto a porcupine. Whoa, whoa. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> he launched me into it. Don't ask me. I had a vendetta against that specific penguin. He needed to go. I think I missed one. And it's going to hurt when the gem isn't... Oh, I missed way more than one. Hey, 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 watch where you're spitting. This dude's spitting. We're getting low on lives. I need every wump of fruit I can get at this point. It's like when you're strapped for cash and you finally break open the piggy bank. Only this one's filled with, like, rotting fruit. What a coward. You get close after he's talking all that smack, and then he hides. I see a skull and crossbones. Let's do it. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Just... Nice and easy. Just waiting for my pinky toe to kind of hit one of the nitro crates. I really can't afford to die much more here because I have like four lives left and I'm really trying to do this without using continues. Woo! Okay, that one was a gift. Really? I mean, now there really is no turning back. You kind of just got to do it. 
Piss off, Mario. I don't got time. We're lives. Oh, he almost got me there. He almost got me. He was close. He was close. But not close enough it, like these boxes. So I think the problem here was we actually needed to go this way. And I didn't. Because this is probably where the crystal is. There's the crystal. I'm getting you this time. And close call, too. Coming real close to getting that game over. So just got to get as many... One of fruits as I can and die as little as possible. <sighs> All right, finally. Now we can fight the boss. You think Dr. Engine, who probably has a lot of money, he's a doctor, would have had that bomb surgically removed from his head? I got vaporized. Okay, this is probably where the uh, the game over happens. We got to hit him quite a few times. Oh, should have slid. Oh, that's right. I'm an idiot. We throw Wumpa fruits in this one. It's a weird way to throw it, too. Like, Crash, maybe, like, it just, like, lobs it over the shoulder. Man, I would not want to be known as the dude who has, like, a giant robot with death lasers that can be destroyed by a mango. A slow-moving mango at that. Come on, break. Break. There we go. Eh, you got no hands. I think I much prefer this because at least I can see where the missiles are going to go. This is what Crash has been saving all those Wumpa Fruits up for. He's just been saving up for two games. He's got a bag of holding with him. It's just endless Wumpa fruit. Okay, come on, break, break, die. You got nothing left. Okay, maybe you got something left. Oh, come on, I was so close. I was so close. Well, there it is, the game over. Didn't think it was gonna happen, but we press on. All right, now I'm really angry. You could tell by the frenzy that crashes in. The Wumpa Fruit Throwing Frenzy. There we go. Just had to hit it like once. He's like, oh, my only weakness, produce. All right, the final level. All right, now we're getting close to the end of the game, which means I really can't afford to uh, miss. Oh, this is the rock. Okay, forgot this was the actual rocket stage. And forward doesn't fly forward. R2 flies forward, so that's kind of weird. But the controls are so... Strange, I forgot about this. I'm just gonna go nice and slow. We only have our learner's permit. So I think this would probably be one of the easier stages to get all the boxes on, but I don't have the patience. Hey pal, listen, just let me get by. Just, just get out of the way and nobody gets hurt. Sacrifices had to be made. Zero gravity seems like it'd be fun. Like I always wanted to go to space camp as a kid, win like Nickelodeon guts and go to space camp. Well, no, if you want guts, you got a piece of the aggro crag. Which, which game sent you to space camp? A level that didn't kill us, and I only missed like, I don't know, like 12 boxes? Wait, I don't remember how to kill this thing. I think I just gotta jump over it. Yeah, I don't think I can. I think you just gotta take the leap. No, 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 let me out, let me out! I don't know how to kill some of these. It's fine, I just won't. I'm a pacifist anyway. I don't know, oh God, I'm afraid to get too close. I just, I don't trust hitting it in the back. Ah! Okay, it, it was sliding. I gotta wait for the arms to go up. You like how I just kind of process things in the moment? I'm a very in the moment person. They got these giant heater shields that can't even see above them. I feel like we've been on the stage for years. It's been a long time, all right? Just gonna, I'm getting that one up. I'm just gonna stroll over to get it, nice and easy. Heh, <laughs> 69 boxes. Okay, so th these are hot donuts. Can't touch the sides of those. You'll get boo-boos. Shocktopus versus Shocktopus. Fortunately, Shocktopus is winning. You know, fun fact, I almost went with the name Shocktopus and now I'm glad I didn't. I don't like this level. I don't like it. Oh God, it's just me and you. Just me and you, Shocky. And it was you. Bro, I am dying so much. See these robots? I'm, I'm very tilted. I am so tilted right now. So tilted I got blown out of my shoes. What is happening? Not to this guy, not this way. What? Huh. This entire time I'm sliding when I could have been spinning. Being really meticulous here. Don't want to just slowly get all of them and then die. Ten seconds later. No, go! I couldn't get out! Now how? Oh, I'm gonna die here. Yup! As expected. Oh god. <gasps> I made it. I made it. It's just like a crapshoot. Don't forget that. No, oh, jeez. The end was right there. Man, I sure do love playing this level for the 40th time. Oh, 
Yeah, there's also that. There's also just not stepping on the damn thing. I'm sorry I wasted all your time. Oh wait, I'm running out of light here. We gotta refresh our uh, our lightning bug. Hell no, I ain't doing the uh, the death run. Stop, stop walking this way. Stop walking this way. Back in the 15th century, they didn't have any light to play Crash Bandicoot. They had to play in the dark. They also didn't have video games or electricity. Wow, I can't see a damn thing. I see that nitro box though. There's a gap there. I can sense it. We almost did this without dying. It kind of makes up for uh, spaced out, kinda. Now it's another one of these. So I need to rewire my brain to not press forward to go forward because that would make too much sense. I gotta press, oh God, I'm bouncing off things. I like how we just gotta like knock them into the sun. Oh no, oh God, oh. Still alive, still, okay. Didn't know that was there, fine. Give me the checkpoint. Give me the funny mask man. Grab the crystal. Just press, there you go. Nice and easy. I have nothing. And there's the end. I just gotta go for it. We just gotta go, 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 go. We did it. Oh, that was stressful. That was incredibly stressful. Let me out of here. Yeah, keep laughing, it's time. Oh my god, no way, didn't see that coming. It's almost like Cortex is a bad guy or something? If I had a giant space station, I would probably stay inside of it and fight. I remember this. The final fight is just like a race. Come on, run him off the road. Give me that crystal, give it back. The speed shoes. I can run faster now, thank you. This is the end of the game. Quite remarkably, the easiest final boss fight in the history of video games. Like literally first try. We don't even need editing magic to make me look good. So the only thing that stands between us and finishing the insane trilogy is Crash Bandicoot 3. 12 seconds later. Crash Bandicoot 3. A lot of people love this game. This is a lot of Crash fans' favorite Crash game. I don't know. I like it, but it's my least favorite. Free at last. Great evil has come. What made you think that? Was it the getting dark at 2 p.m.? Or was it the ominous laughter? I sent you simple instructions to follow. Why is he afraid of, like, a mask? What can he do? What are Uka Uka's powers? Besides just being scary looking. There is still a way to amass the power needed to enslave this miserable planet. Why is the end game for villains always enslave the planet this, enslave humanity that? Wouldn't you get bored after a while? What's the matter? What's the matter? You know how to wield the sword? Too scrawny? I really enjoy some of the settings in Crash 3, but I think it's all the vehicle levels that kind of put a damper on it. Like this whole medieval world, it's really cool. Excuse me, Mr. Goat. Excuse me, Mr. Frog. All right, probably the only gem we're gonna get this entire game. You think after the second game, he would have bought like a fanny pack or something? This is the 90s. Why are we still storing our crystals where we shouldn't store our crystals? You get a stage like this. Ugh, taking a page out of Mario's book. Hey, don't get torched. At least the stage is kind of easy, though. Kind of relaxing, chill. So this is a submarine, and I thought it was just a scary-looking fish. The sharks ain't gonna do anything now. I'm gonna light their ass up. So when I do finish the Insane Trilogy, I should probably get into Twin Sanity, right? But if I hold out long enough, I feel like they're eventually going to announce some kind of remaster, because they said there's a lot of plans for more Crash, and who knows? Hopefully stuff outside of a mobile runner. All right, I gotta play a little bit of Coco now. Ride the cute tiger cub. Ooh, didn't think I was gonna make that. Excuse me, Donkey Kong. Here we go, here we go. Segmented dragons don't scare me. The song is kind of a bop though. Even if like you bop your head. Woo, woo, okay. Come on, get up there. All that for a couple of Wumpa Fruits. I like how all they have is just like this one dude with the glasses and the flat top. It's the only henchman. Like we don't have it in the budget. Hire the same guy 50 times. It's like when voiceover actors just play like six characters in an anime. The Boneyard. I got you for three minutes. Sure, whatever you say, Cookie Monster. Oh great, it's one of these. It's like a cute little dinosaur though. It's not like that giant terrifying T-Rex or anything. 
Just like a little Triceratops. Just Sarah from The Land Before Time. Man, did I hate her. Did anyone watch The Land Before Time and saw Sarah and was like, wow, that's a great character. We all like her. <laughs> Cortex wants to spend his entire budget on like space stations. Maybe hire some personnel. You got a tiger who skips leg day and the same dude wearing 50 different hats. It's a logistical nightmare. He's chasing me, he's like, your ass is grass. Or actually I burned it, so I no longer have one. Where, where's the lava? There it is. Watch out. Woo, watch out for the nitro. Oh, you can run through it. That's totally fine. How many did I miss? I missed two boxes, that's it? Man, Wave Race 64 looks different. Like, I would have much preferred more platforming, not like, hey, let's stick Crash and Coco on, like, a jet ski. And make him, like, go through these Diddy Kong racing levels. You got the arrow telling you where to go because I'm dumb. As if I didn't know you just, I don't know, follow the, the path. Big jump. Big trick. Woo! Gonna be the first one to do a 900 on a jet ski. Okay, th this is a tight turn here. Unnecessary. It's like a Sonic stage. You know, you get to go fast for a little while, and then they're like, hey, let's, uh, let's slow down for a second. And I understand that, uh... Sonic levels require you to learn the level so you can go fast, but if the game is not that fun like Sonic Colors... Well, why are you pulling me? I'm right! Unleash the tiger. Let him come. You're like four times my size. You need a weapon? Whoa, 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 whoa! Here comes the stampede. I think the stampede scene in uh, Lion King traumatized me when I was a kid. Real talk. I think uh, it gave me some form of PTSD. I'm gonna get trampled by a bunch of uh, lions and Coco's gonna be like, Crash, Crash, get up, Crash. Why? Why must you continue to be a thorn in our side? Why must you continue to be what? successful? It's because I asked viewers like you to like and subscribe to the channel, which you can do for free. It costs you zero dollars and zero cents. It's free 99. Kind of just back where I was. The belly flop isn't supercharged, it's just a regular belly flop. The belly flop is way more satisfying in this game, though. Look, now he's a wizard? My man cosplays for a living. Does he have a name? Wait, I got a trophy for getting turned into a frog? Who's the real winner here? Whoa, 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 whoa! Not in front of the goat! I'm flattered that, uh, he turned into a prince when he kissed me. That means I'm a princess. That's how it works, right? Poof. That one box. That cursed one box. Where is Aladdin? He's here somewhere. You don't need to steal bread anymore. I got plenty of wumpa fruit to share. What's a scorpion doing here? Doesn't seem like a natural habitat for a scorpion. Just gonna go around you. Oh. Sorry. Link is sweating somewhere. He just woke up from a dead sleep. Zelda, I just had the worst nightmare. Ah, I did get it. Oh yeah, I remember struggling with this because you you have to win the race. And also steering is abysmal. It's like the Final Fantasy VII motorcycle segment. Only there's no violence. It's on fourth place. I feel like I should be able to blow past these guys. And all these cops are here and they're not doing anything about this? This death race? Yeah, I want to restart level. Anyone ever play that Super Nintendo game, Biker Mice from Mars, which was also a cartoon? I used to love that racing game as a kid. I feel like this shouldn't be as hard as it is, but it is. It just, it has no business. Come on. Just, you know what? I'm just going into the ravine. You can't make like a single mistake. You miss one thing, or if you bump anybody, game over. All right, That's, come on, come on. First place is right there. How? I was trying to hit that boost and it just, it wouldn't happen. I didn't know the timing of it, but it usually is the second light. But I feel like without that, unless you know that you can do that, this is nearly impossible. Oh no, come on. No, no, no! Oh, oh, that shouldn't have worked, but it did. And we're not gonna question it. Thank you, Vicarious Visions. So wait, we went back in time and now the Sphinx is suddenly Cortex. Whoa, ah! K rule. You're not supposed to be in this game. The uh, the bonus stages are pretty consistent though. Like across the board, one, two, and three, they're all fun. I do feel like they've gotten a lot easier in three. Another thing is a kid that scared the hell out of me. Just like I have these weird messed up memories was uh, the original Mummy movie with Brendan Fraser and how the scarabs used to like come out and crawl into people's skin. Now, wait a second. I don't think they had blow torches when they were building the pyramids. All right, easy does it. Did we get all the boxes here? Did we do it? We didn't do it, not even close. I'm not a huge fan of the vehicle levels, or I technically this is a 
a, a wild animal, it's not a vehicle. But I think that's the reason why Crash 3 is my least favorite, because they kind of force these down your throat. How did I... Come on, just get up. You're a lion. You're a tiger. You're a bear. Oh, my. Oh, I fell off the stage. That's gotta hurt, falling off the Great Wall of China. Uh, why is this tiger so sensitive? This tiger's more sensitive than half the people on the internet. There we go. Dude, are you kidding me? All right, now get me out of here. Don't care how many boxes we missed. Yes, that's right. Pet the kitty. Look, everybody, I'm petting the kitty. This guy's not good with a flamethrower. Come on, coming in there. Which way are we going? I don't have a kuku. -ku. He ditched me. Some friend. All right, I'm coming in. Mm. Oh, he's doubling up now. Oh, God! That thing is highly flammable. Even if you just touch the tank, it explodes. You fools, I'm powerful. I'm more powerful than you could ever imagine. I have the double jump now. I, I jumped into the lava. The double jump's a little weird because you can't delay it. You gotta, like, right away double jump. Oh, God. He hit me right into the lava. I can't double jump, but this uh, dinosaur's got some hops. Does this little mud man think he's gonna take on a T-Rex? Is that T-Rex or... Hang on, let's get a, get a better look. Yeah, I'd say so. Who thought running towards the camera was a good idea? You have, like, no time to anticipate any obstacle. Like, I know there's lava coming up. Where is it? Where's the lava? Where, where is it? Where, there it is. Oh, God. Oh, God! There we go. Look at me. Round of applause, please. More underwater levels. Crash doesn't need missiles. It's nice that they gave them to him. But, like, this is what I'm talking about. We don't need to force a vehicle every third stage. Excuse me. Oh, God. Oh. Yep. The food chain is as follows. You have shark, uh, and then bandicoot, and then uh, some other smaller fish. Man, there is a lot of garbage in the water over here. What are we, like, right underneath, like an Exxon mobile plant? The Great Whites are going extinct solely because of Crash in the water firing missiles. Okay, I'm like trapped. Cool, that was that was great. I, I don't even care. At this point, I don't. it was right here the entire time and I kept dying. I'm gonna say it, which will manifest it into the world. I haven't gotten a game over yet, which maybe, just maybe, we can do this without getting one, but we need like a lot of lives. This guy's carrying a lot of pots. Be a shame if he were to drop all of them and die. Okay, we're really close to another one up, so let me not accidentally jump off the stage. He was just throwing scimitars. Hey, buddy, scimitars don't just grow on trees. Oh, look at this. Two gems. Is it my birthday? Oh, come on, man. Ugh, these are so awful. I just want to get more good noodle stars. Uh oh, it's the popos. Act casual. <laughs> Can't they be okay with us finishing top three? In Mario Kart, at least you get a trophy. I really can't beat wacky races over here. I could totally do. Oh, I got run over. Come on. Can we last minute come from behind win? Please, you're right there. No. Just give me like a red shell or something. I'll, I'll settle for a green shell. I don't know the items in Crash Team Racing. So uh, this is it. Just got to pull ahead. Get out of my way. I knocked him forward. Hit it. Hit the boost. Hit the boost. Use the boost to get through. We did it. First try. Oh, it's a, it's a two headed ogre. Is he wielding meat? For real, it's a good thing that I didn't have to uh, lose any lives on that other stage because that would have been the place to, to get the game over. Oh, I mean, they're chicken. He's got like two whole ass chickens. A pretty easy stage. Come on, throw a challenge at me. I guess the challenge is the weather. Just the, they have very low tourism rates here. It's always raining. No one really wants to go there. It's like Seattle. Just kidding, I like Seattle. I gotta say, some of these henchmen are way better than others. Like this dude, he's got magic shooting like fireballs at me. And then you got like this two-headed henchman right here. Who, he's not even attempting to come after me. Oh, he's got to jump on his head. But which head? And would you look at that? It's time for another boss fight. Here I come, Entropy. What, what are we doing? How am I getting over there? Okay, I see. I see. He's going to just set the bridge up. Okay, I'm going to go back now. Oh, God. Shouldn't have did that. Whoa. Oh. Homie's got the homing. Dude's got to work on his cardio. He's out of breath after like 15 seconds of exertion. This might be one of the easier boss fights. Come on, mix it up. He's like, you want platforming? All right, I'll give you platforming. Give me that fork. Oh, what did we get? Death tornado spin. Seriously, you can just go full Tasmanian devil now. I think it's very smart of Neo Cortex to require everyone to at least have a PhD if they're going to join his like super villain army. You have Dr. Engine, Dr. Entropy. Also, your first name has to start with the letter N, so I guess that really narrows it down. It makes it very specific. Can I just, like, death tornado spin him? 
We want to play with our shiny new toy. Who said Crash couldn't have a move set for Super Smash Brothers? Look at this thing. Wow, we really turned this thing around. We went from having like two lives left to now we got 16. I swear I double jumped there. No, no. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, even in Crash 3, they're like, abuse the animals for rewards. Come on, two more. Yeah, I know you got two more in there. Come on, don't be cheap. Destroy all monkeys. Get your hands off me, you damn dirty ape. Um, did I do something wrong? Woo! Sliding on through. Oh, close. Bye-bye, blimps. Another obligatory vehicle stage. I can barrel roll. How do I have 59% already? Can I get health? In editing, can we just turn this into like a really cool Star Fox reference? Switching to all range mode. This final blimp's going down like, My Emperor! I failed you! These Coco stages are a little more bearable since they're kind of just free range. Whoop! I'm gonna slip right through. Look at this dude over here swinging the anchor around. Who does he think he is? Larry the Lobster? 500 yards! Wow! Let's see an instant replay. Gotta get some mustard on that. Give me that one up. All right, we're out of here. We're, okay, wow, that seems a little high tech compared to the uh, pirate swinging an anchor around. Really up the budget for this stage. I'm gonna try something. All right, does this work? How? <laughs> All right, not bad. Kind of hoping we could clear a little more. None of these obstacles make sense. Crash three walked so Crash four could fly. You know, I do love these games, but I'm a little sick of the pain by now. I can't wait to wrap the insane trilogy because I, I promised it. I'm fulfilling that promise, and now I have other promises I'd like to fulfill. I gotta play Sonic 06. So we gotta go from playing good games to playing bad games. Do we bounce on his head? Bounce on his stupid flat top? Yes, we do. <laughs> Tomb Raider. How are the new Tomb Raider games? Are they any good? Because I stopped playing Tomb Raider after, like, Tomb Raider 2. I think I had the trilogy back in the day. Oh, my guy, that's a lot of spikes. My guess is water is bad, uh, and... Water equals drown. This guy's got a giant shield. He can't even... How do we do this? Do we go over him? When doubt, just death spin. All right, we made it. Engine, you stupid missile head. Let's throw... Oh, it's Coco's time to shine. Gotta shoot his belly button. There we go. Belly button destroyed. Let's get that other shoulder. Come on. No, okay. See, now the gun is a little... Oh, or not. Or I guess it's easy. Easiest boss in the game. I don't remember if there's more. Um... Is that another weapon, or are you just happy to see me? Okay, there is more. This has just become an R-type game. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that was fast. The fruit bazooka! Sounds delicious. The hardest, um... <gasps> oh, I love it! Okay, this is going to make things way easier. Crash gonna hit the game-winning snipe, and then get in the Xbox Live lobby and start talking smack. And the best part is, it doesn't eat up any of my Wumpa fruit. I just have unlimited. I like how they basically ran out of things to do at this point. They're like, I don't know. Give him a bazooka. Whatever, it's fine. This is the last good game we're gonna make for a while. So with all the platform fighters coming out, do you really think that uh, PlayStation All-Stars 2 is gonna be a thing? You think they're gonna get in on it? I mean, do you think that's potentially why Crash just never came to Smash? Because they're making a sequel to PlayStation All-Stars? It just feels so shoehorned in. Like, it's so weird to aim. Oh, come on, I hit you. We can't be stopped now that we have the bazooka. Look, I'm so good at the game, they're starting me so far back. They're like, did you see Chuck win on his 18th try last time? We better start him further back. And you know what? Move the cop cars, too. The name of the stage is Orange Asphalt, but uh, the asphalt is its not orange. It's regular asphalt. It is right there. I think very well we can do this. For real? Like, first try? For real? For real? I'm a god. You know what? End the video. I'm a god. You don't need to see any more. Crash is like, Sarge, I have him in my crosshairs. What should I do? Take the shot. Excellent, now head to the extraction point. Can I actually shoot? I could shoot the nitro crates, can I? Yes, I can. That makes things a lot easier when you go back and try and 100% the game. And you can shoot anyone and everything. Shooting this dude in the window. Go ahead, pop your head out. Peek, watch what happens. I don't even need all these lives anymore. Just charity at this point. All right, shoot down the bombers, which I assume are the red ones. We're gonna kill five of the, oh yeah, they are red. You know how I can tell you that? Because uh, the bottom right of the screen we have a plethora of lives. We have like two more stages to go. They're gonna lob this meatball at us. Nice, easy stage. Come on, go down. I'm a natural born pilot. I mean, look at me. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, 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 come on. Hot on his tail. All right, thank you for flying JetBlue. Please be careful when taking your 
luggage from the overhead storage, as items may have shifted during the flight. This really has been a wild ride, just playing through Crash 1, 2, and 3 again. I want to say for the first time uh, since I was a kid, but for the first time since, I don't know, like 2016. Listen, if the light wants to go out, that's totally fine, because uh, I could probably see in the dark. I was just kidding. Oh, hang on. Super Crash! I can run through the nitro- This feels like a very underutilized mechanic in Crash games. Like, how often do you get to get, like, Super Akuku? This whole run feels like my victory lap for finishing this series again. They're like, Chalk, you've suffered enough. Now enjoy. Flex on Vicarious Visions. Wait, I, I, I there's like a... There. I didn't know if there was a hole there. Final boss time, I, I think. I mean, it's Dr. Neo Cortex, so I assume so. Unless there's another boss afterwards. You know, Neo Cortex really has no right to talk smack, considering the final boss fight in Crash 2 is probably the easiest boss fight ever. Oh, whoops, I got vaporized. <laughs> Let me in the bubble! Let me in! All right, enough screwing around. We got 13 lives. Let's not use all of them being funny. I don't remember what I have to do. I love this Dragon Ball-style beam struggle that uh, Aku Aku and Uka Uka are having. There we go. So let's just right, come on, get back into your whole hermit. You know, I much prefer that over the lasers. Takes up far less real estate. There we go. Come on, back, throw them in. Come on, get, get in there. What do you think's at the bottom of that pit anyway? All right, one more time. Come on, get in there. And that's it. Now we can run super fast. Because that's just what you want to do when you beat the game. You want to do it again. And so wraps the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. The promise has been fulfilled. And I'm like Genie at the end of Aladdin. The shackles have come off. And we did it without getting a game over. <laughs>